Hey everyone, Merrix here, bringing you another video. This one is going to be on Liv Morgan. Watch me live. So we finally have Liv in the game. I know this is a huge deal for lots of people. They've been waiting and waiting for this one. She is a modern era focused acrobat. Um, she has the raw link, modern era gems do 5% more damage, and the watch me live stock gear. She is a coach at 9k, a mobile gems will do 2,200 more damage. And uh, let's take a look. I'm going to be switching her strap around uh, three different times, actually. We're going to start off um, with Double Fury and kind of move from there. Uh, ideally, this would be a percentage blue move damage metal. Uh, it's flat. So this is the way we're going to start. Two words will be on for the whole... Uh, preview it is not the best option um, for sure but uh, that's what we're gonna have on so I'm gonna have four move sets technically three and a variation on the fourth for you guys um, so this one's available at four star this one will be much much better in feud and also at five star gold um, it will be extremely hard to replicate the damage output but this will be a very good build um, for feud and in particular at five star gold it gets even better um, so it's got the finisher the oblivion deal 132k damage choose nine random black gems i'm sorry destroy nine random black gems it's not a choose 10 mp um, 5 mp black move middle rope drop kick deal 60k damage and choose five gems to make into blue this goes to time six um, choose six at five star gold ripcord knee strike five mp black deal 63k damage make all blue gems into multiply gems of strength four that goes to uh, times five at gold entourage we're gonna run with bray for black mp to get started matt hardy for multi gems times two and then blue gem damage in uh, sheamus and then also santa hogan if you don't have sheamus you can use offa at 15 percent and also Motu Austin, I believe, is 18% um, gem damage. So those are both gem damage options there. If you don't have either of those, you could always put Otis to buff the finisher uh, 10%. Um, in Feud, I don't think you're really going to get to Otis, however. So let's take a look on the road. We're going to go in Acrobat Bailey, so Acro versus Acro. Um, the five star silver versus five star silver. And I do have two perks, plus uh, three MP and plus two on a match. Liv is very, very good. Uh, just my opinion, um, she's the best female acrobat in the game now at this point. And it is not that close. So this is one of those where you can do quite a lot of things. Um, you can set up for some big biggish booms uh, if the board cooperates uh, as you get more gems to choose um it makes it a lot easier also in feud you're going to choose a minimum of six if you have offensive perks maxed um and so at gold it'll be seven so we're going to go ahead and make all, and also keep in mind acrobat gets a massive gem buff at gold so we're going to turn everything blue and then uh Basically, going to do some dot connecting. And I believe each of these gems is around 86k right now. Uh, so we'll take this four, and that'll end up getting us five. That gets us five, and then um, we can essentially get one group of three more. I mean, actually, this is more damage, because that gets six and six which is more than five by my bad math so we'll go ahead and hit that um actually we do even better uh because we have one extra and um, we'll just do it like that right so yeah we'll get one more this way so this should be a really big hit i'm not all the way awake uh a million damage and that's going to be substantial. Wow, Bailey, no selling it. All right. Uh, that's going to be substantially larger at gold. I'm going to go ahead and run that one one more time uh, as it's quite quick. The finisher is basically there to recycle in this build set. 
um, if you need to. Uh, so two words potentially you could use to blow up the board if it goes off. Uh, cheap shot would be very, very good. And then uh, as requested, um, skill plate uh, picker option would be the, um, the HBK plate here the showstopper because it's blue and the AI is going to target blue uh, and it'll help for kicking out the swipe plate. So that's why it's on there. It changes reds into green, but uh, when you swipe blue. Um, also, so the finisher, uh, we're not, don't have the right metal. We're not really buffing it. We don't super care about it. It's just there to recycle if you need to, which you probably won't have to at all in feud, especially at gold, as long as you're fighting similar leveled opponents. You can see 87k per multiply at this level. Quite good. So that's going to get us five. That's going to get us five. And what else can we do? We're already going to hit that one. Gets us three. And actually, we can get this one too. There we go. Another million damage hit. And these multiply builds are so hit so much harder in feud. Um, you're getting times two on the multi. You're we're choosing an extra blue. Uh, it's just going to be really good. So big fan of that move set, and it's going to be much better than people uh, think from the previews at gold and in feud. All right, let's move on um, to a variation of that. Um, this one will have the five star move in the reversal. I think a lot of people are going to be curious about this one uh, We're also going to change out the uh, Strap here. We're going to move to take down And let's see what, what do we have equipped here we got this one And we have what do we have interesting. Like this one. So ideally this one you'd run double armor. I don't have the uh, blue percentage in tier four, so no double armor for me. We're going to run a takedown because I have the takedown metal. Um, and it does buff um, the kick out as well, which you'll see ends up being pretty substantial. Not insignificant for sure. All right, we're all swapped out. So you can see blue move damage now 170%. And we're just switching one move. We're going to bring the five star move in the reversal. Six MP blue. And we're going to put the cheese move back. Deal 5,000. Sorry, 5,000. Yeah, uh, 574,000 uh, damage. And kick out of the pin. Swap 11 random gems to black gems. Uh, gems broken during kick out do not have any effect. It cannot kick out when in danger. So Entourage, we're going to stick with Bray. We're going to switch to Finisher stuff. Rare Trainers here. This is to show people uh, potentially this build set, how hard the Finisher can hit. Um, which, um, against Silvers, will keep people down most of the time. Against Golds, you won't. So you'll have to build it Armor, in my opinion, anyway. Otis for some blue move damage. Destroy an extra Black Gem. So you can see before metals, the kickout is at 775k damage. So if you get pinned, it's doing a lot. 
After metals, it's it's a lot more. All right, let's run this one. Again, same plate options for this one. Um, potentially, if one of the two words lands on a black, you'll destroy it on the finisher. A little extra damage. I think cheap shot again is the way to go. And then you have the swipe plate from the store uh, giving kick out options and things like that. So we want to load the finisher. It's only 10 MP. Two, three matches will more than do it. Go ahead and take this one. And let's do this. And also that to avoid, hopefully, a mess. Two words did not go off. Um, for those curious, the reversal with this setup is 1.6 million damage on the kickout. And now we'll recycle the black move with the finisher. And if we're lucky, we'll get a cascade. Two words is not cooperated. Little cascade, 636k. Again, at gold, that won't get it done uh, against other golds, but before then it will. That's why I say you're going to need armor. And I don't believe I showed the total damage on the finisher there, so I'll pop that up on the screen real quick for you guys. Uh, if you didn't know, you can always go in here to a match, hit this button, and then click your moves, and it'll show you what they do. Uh, so that's 600k um, with those rare trainers on the finisher. All right, uh, moving along to the last set. Uh, and I think this one is going to be extremely popular. Uh, it's like uh, Acro Charlotte, Promoter Charlotte on steroids, essentially. Uh, it's very good. Uh, and then we're going to switch the strap out uh, one more time. Um, so actually, let me go to the move set here. There we go. So it's gonna we're gonna bring the running hip attack in, 3 MP blue. The Hurricane Rana, 3 MP green. And the jumping in Sagiri, another 3 MP green. So really low charge on these. Um they're all they're all 3 MP. So the running hip attack, deal 50k damage and swap a 3 by 1 random area into greens. Hurricane Rana Deal 53k damage and swap a 1x3 area into blue gems. They're both random. And then jumping in Sagiri, deal 282,000 damage. And move the pin bar left by one notch. At gold, this goes to two notches. Um, let's change that strap around. For this, we're just changing one metal. We're putting a green in um, for the blue. This one, I do think takedown is the way to run this. You're going to try and wipe their life on turn one. So now we're up to 179% green move damage. Uh, you do not want two words for you for this build set, as it will mess you up, potentially. And um, because of that, it's likely to proc and go off when we don't want it to. <laughs> because I'm doing a preview. Uh, so move damage... On this one, um, so for this, I have tour perks to get me plus three MP. In Feud, you would only be at plus two. So unless you have 17k Santa Hogan or a line bonus, you cannot use both um, move damage trainers. So do keep that in mind, please. And then we're going to put Jey Uso in for 10%, because I do not have Rick Rude, who would be 20%, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, or is it R-Truth? I always get them mixed up. So there's that. So we're going to run it this way, and then we'll run it how I would run it for Feud. Uh, assuming no line bonus and no 17k Santa. So let's take a look-see real quick. I do want to say, if you have the Sheik Plate, wow, because the move damage on this move is very large, uh, Sheik Plate is going to be great on it. Um, you can see we're doing a million damage uh, with the two trainers and the takedown and stuff. 
on a 3 MP move. Of course, when you hit it, it's going to buff itself. Um, so, yeah, if you have the Sheik Plate option, wow. Um, she's going to be nutty with this build. Like I said, Charlotte on steroids. Move the pin bar one. Take a bunch of Bailey's life. Um, you could hit this green one, but there's no reason to, as it only does 200k. And, of course, you can, since it's random, get a Cascade. Um, so we're just going to refill it. And hit it and end the match. Do keep in mind, if I had the Sheik Plate, maybe I would do that in a different order. Um, but it's really not going to matter, right? Because then, you know, Sheik Plate, this would be getting buffed every time. Uh, it's just going to be really, really good. Did I mention I think it's going to be really good? I think it's going to be really good. All right. So now what about Feud if you don't have a line bonus and stuff? Uh, same move set. I'm just going to switch it around. Take Gooker off because he's rare. Uh, Tyler Breeze is on there. You could use Steel. Uh, you only need one MP. You could use Rizar. Um, who else has one green MP? I want to say maybe Farouk has a one green MP. Um, all people you could use. You, so... And I mean, Otis isn't doing a lot on the blue move, so you can, you know, free, free reign there to use whoever you want. And use a defensive one, etc. All right, so this is more realistic to what it's going to look like in Feud. Not the first Feud, because there's always a massive line bonus, but or usually is, although it's Showdown this weekend, so maybe we won't unless we get like a Flash Feud this month at the end of the month. So again, same principle applies, except now instead of a million, we're doing only, quotes, 890k. Um... Not that big of a, a hit. And the blue move won't be loaded if you're just using one MP trainer. So that's worth noting that you're going to have to hit this move. Um, and it is random to load the blue move. So you can get unlucky. And then you can go back now and load the green moves. Also that extra one on the pin bar notch will help add gold as well. Two words goes off. Not that it, it matters at this point because Bailey's done for. Again, Sheik Plate would be fantastic for this build set. And Bob's your uncle. So, yeah. Um, in short, Liv is amazing. Um, I would love to be able to get her. We'll see if I get lucky from Bags. Um fantastic uh, acrobat male female whatever i would love to see a male clone of this actually uh she's really good to use and uh really really fun so i think a lot of people should be happy with this Liv is uh, someone that i've heard a ton of people say they really want in the game and now she is here and quite good um, multiple options with build sets, really easy on the trainers, low charge moves, some multi-action, uh, just a lot of fun. So let me know what you think in the comments, and remember to like, subscribe, and share as that really helps me out. Other than that, guys, thanks for watching, and good luck out there.